Hi, this is Verma. We are starting a series of videos in which we will talk about acrylic. We will analyze what acrylic is, on what machines it is worth working with it, the features of cutting acrylic, and much more. Subscribe to our channel. There's a lot of informative and interesting content ahead of you. Let's get started. But before we start choosing an acrylic cutting machine, let's find out what is acrylic. Acrylic, also plexiglass or acrylic glass, is a special polymer plastic. This material is available in different versions. Transparent, mirrored and even coloured. Souvenirs and awards, outdoor advertising signs, POS materials are made of acrylic. Products made of it are often used in the design of shops, shopping and entertainment centres. According to the production method, acrylic glasses are of two types, moulded and extruded. Extruded acrylic after processing on a CO2 laser machine can crack due to residual stress, so moulded acrylic is better suited for cutting on a laser machine. Now we turn to the main question, how to choose a machine for working with acrylic? In order to choose the right laser machine, you need to answer the following questions. What should I do on the machine? What kind of product and the approximate volume of products made is planned? What are the main types of materials to be processed? The maximum and minimum size of the workpiece to be processed? Thickness of the processed sheet. You should know that CO2 laser machines are easy to master. They work quickly and accurately. They also cut the most materials with a minimum amount of waste. So, let's take a closer look at each of the points. What should I do on the machine? What is the product and the approximate volume of products made? Here, first of all, we need to understand what will be done more often on the machine, cutting or engraving. Their difference is that cutting is burning through the material, and engraving is the fusion of the upper layer of the material. More often, this question is asked by our specialists last, as an auxiliary one, but it is not by chance that we start our video with this question, since it will make it easier to answer the following questions. For example, if your main task is engraving, then you should give up on machines with large working fields, since you will significantly lose in the speed of engraving. It is also worth refusing machines with a high power of the laser tube, because the more powerful the laser tube, the less it fits for engraving. What kind of product will you produce? This is an extraordinary broad question, but let's focus on only one criterion, the maximum and minimum size of the product. It is logical to assume that the machine should not be smaller than the product and then be guided by the output. If the machine is purchased for a hobby and the volume of products is not crucial, it is enough to take a machine slightly larger than the product and place the new material in the cutting zone after you have finished working with the previous one. And if the production run is large, it is worth considering machines with large working fields or consider a two- or four-headed laser machine. What are the main types of materials to be processed? Each material has its own specifics of cutting and engraving. Some material needs strong blowing during powerful cutting, and some materials are only spoiled by strong blowing, such as acrylic. Some materials, such as leather, have a strong persistent smell when cutting and engraving, and in this case, it is impossible to work without intense smoke extraction or even a filter ventilation unit. Some materials are cut easier, some are more difficult, and some cannot be cut at all on a laser machine. Our experts will tell you all the features of processing each material, and we will try to shoot an interesting and informative video for you for each of them. The next point to pay attention to is the maximum and minimum size of the workpiece to be processed. This is one of the main questions asked by our specialists when selecting a laser machine for a client, and the answer to it is not always obvious. Let's look at this issue on the example of plexiglass. The main standard for acrylic size is 2000 by 3000 mm. But this does not mean that we need to consider a machine with a working field of 2000 by 3000 mm or more. There is always an opportunity to make a preliminary cut to a size convenient for you, focusing either on the size of your products or on the working field of your machine. Of course, it's better to do preliminary cutting on a laser machine it is more economical because of the smaller thickness of the cut than, for example, with a jigsaw. You can also buy acrylic of the right size, but the standards in each country are different and often they depend either on the cutting equipment 
or on the length measures in your country. With taking into account these factors, the size range of Watson laser machines is unusually wide. For example, the Watson 1610 laser machine has a size of exactly 1600 by 1000, as we tried to give it maximum multipurposeness. The most common size of the rolled fabric is 1505 mm, and plywood is more often supplied in the size of 1525 mm by 1525 mm. If you cut the acrylic into two equal parts, then when using a through table, it can also be processed. Let's move on to the next point. Thickness of the processed sheet. One of the most significant factors, but it is in the last place of our list because it is premature to talk about the thickness of the material without deciding on the type of material. Attention, a little life hack from Verma. Let's make experts in the field of laser power selection for cutting plywood and acrylic out of you in 10 seconds. So, how to choose a laser tube for cutting plywood? Follow the principle of 10 watts of power per 1 mm of plywood, but do not overload the tube by more than 80%, so it will last longer. Thus, to cut 10 mm of plywood, we will need a 100 watt laser tube, but remembering the maximum load of 80%, it is better to take a 120 watt tube so it will last much longer. For example, this ratio when cutting plexiglass will be 1.5 mm at 10 watts, and the same 80% load. But not all materials are so simple. For example, rubber is cut much more difficult and requires more blowing, and paranite with a thickness of more than 2 mm is cut exclusively by the method of several passes. But we will talk about these materials in the following videos. Finally, we remind you that the power of the laser tube is a variable option, and in all Watson machines, starting from size 6040, you can replace the tube to a higher or lower power, depending on the task. This is all that you should pay attention to when choosing an acrylic processing machine. If the video was useful to you, click the Like button. In the next video, we will talk about the specifics of cutting plexiglass. Subscribe so as not to miss. Verma was with you. See you in the new videos.